From its beginnings in 1959, it's been the sport's richest race. In 1978, it became the first million dollar race in any type of horse racing. The history of the All-American Futurity is rich with many of the greatest names in the sport, including Special Effort, Eastex, Refrigerator, and more recently, Hearts Wide Open. Here's a look at some of the contenders in this year's All-America. Breaking from the inside is 3-2 favorite Mr. Riptide. He was the top qualifier from day one of the trials and number one overall. A winner of three straight and four of five lifetime, this New Mexico bred is ridden by Ricky Ramirez, who seeks his first All-American Futurity win. The lone Southern California invader is Determined One, formerly trained by Chris O'Dell, but cared for at Ruidoso by Todd Fincher. A close fourth in the Grade 1 Ed Burke Futurity in June at Los Alamitos. Determined One is the 9-2 second choice under two-time All-American winner Cody Jensen. Lil Miss Sachet is the lone Ruidoso Futurity qualifier in this year's All-American. She's owned by Mark and Faye Annette McCloy, who have had horses qualify for five consecutive Grade 1 Futurities at Ruidoso. Lil Miss Sachet is 11-1 to under Tanner Thedford. Another outsider at 13-1 to is Mr. Jess Jenkins. He took a big step forward with a flashy victory on day one of the trials to leave the maiden ranks. Now one for four lifetime, this improving colt keeps jockey James Flores for this as Flores seeks his first All-American Futurity win. Just outside of him in the gate is another son of apolitical Jess, DF Mischievous Jess and jockey Rodrigo Vallejo. Third in both the Heritage Place Juvenile and Rainbow Futurity. This Colt also has three trial wins to his credit. He's 5-1. to one. They're running in the All-American Futurity. A decent enough break in Determine 1 and Mr. Riptide. They go immediately for the lead. In the middle of the track, Mr. Jess Jenkins. And we have little Miss Sashay coming on with a good run. Then followed up by my fast prize. Outside, Mr. Jess Jenkins trying to run down Determine 1 and Mr. Riptide. In a sport where precociousness is normally a big advantage, Mr. Jess Jenkins opened his career by running 8th, 6th, and 4th. Not the ideal career start, but he was gelded after start 2. Changed Barnes a couple of times, and after a smashing trial win, returns to take the All-American Futurity under James Flores. Quite a development for young trainer Marcos Carrizales and owners Jose Guzman and Rito Sosa, who take home the million and a half dollar winner's share of the purse. Mr. Jess Jenkins is an Oklahoma bred gelding by a political Jess from the mare Fetching Image. Flores rode the gelding in his debut and said despite the early setback, he thought he had a potential star on his hands. Jim, honestly, I really did. I told my agent, I said, this might not be the one right now. He will be the one down the road. And he's, he didn't show much. He's like, are you sure that horse is fast? I said, he'll, he'll come around. And he did, so thank, thankful for that. When that moment hit, wow, I just won the All-American. What was that like? It's just a dream come true. It's something that every jockey, owner, trainer, groom, that's something everybody works for, you know. So, But like I said, I can't take all the credit for that. You know, there's the guys that Santos and Marcos, they got up at 5 in the morning and fed this horse, and they worked their butts off. So, man, a lot, a lot of credit to them. Carrizales grew up in racing. His father, Santos, a well-known graded stakes winning jockey. Both he and Flores grew up around Harlingen, Texas. James, have a jockey. He's, he's a good friend from back home, and my respect to James. It's a dream come true. I've been in this business ever since I was a small boy, been looking at my dad ever since he started riding. I wanted to become a jockey myself, but couldn't happen too much, too much food. But I decided training and followed my dad's footsteps. He showed me and whatnot, and it's a dream come true, I gotta say. Mr. Just Jenkins holds off Mr. Riptide by a neck with determined one third. Winner's time for 440 yards, 21.302 seconds.